Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at the log normal distribution, a quick worked example here. Now, in a certain chemical plant, the concentration of pollutant in uh, terms of, which is X, in terms of parts per million, has a log normal distribution with parameters mu equals 3.2 and sigma equals 1. That's, uh, that would correspond to the normal standard deviation. Now, write the PDF of X and compute the mean and variance of X and then compute the probability that the concentration exceeds 8 parts per million. Okay, so probability of X greater than or equal to 8. Now, so what we have to just sort of get clear in our minds here is what the normal distribution is, or the log normal distribution is about. So essentially, it's a random variable whose logarithm is norm is normally distributed. That's the key thing there. So that's the key thing you have to remember. The logarithm of this variable is normally distributed, okay? Because uh, you can easily get that wrong and go uh, in the wrong direction by looking at the logarithms of a normal random variable. So this is the PDF, and we're going to use that in part A of our question, and this is the uh, definitions of the mean and the variance in terms of mu and sigma. Now, so it's actually straightforward enough. So th these formulas should be avail available to you somewhere in the back of the exam paper or the log tables or something like that. There, you wouldn't be remembering these off by heart. I hope not, anyway. But anyway, so essentially what we have, uh, just noticed that we have sigma here. X is part of the PDF, so we won't really work with that. We have mu up here, and we have two sigma squared down here. So it's essentially using our values, which is three and one, okay? Using those values and putting them into, populating them, substituting them into these expressions accordingly. So that gives us the part A and B. Okay, so this is it here. Okay, so here sigma is equal to 1. Okay, so we have 1x. Uh, 2 times 1 squared gives us 2, and so on. 3.2 is the value for mu. So that's it there. Now you can write out your um, probability density function. This is the full way to write it out. It's sort of a very covers all of the cases and. Um, leaves you know leaves nothing to chance so to speak it's sort of the proper way to write out a pdf for x greater than or equal to zero and zero otherwise okay and i say it's the proper way to write out a pdf now they could even more add more embellishments to it but this is a fairly good uh standard for an undergraduate examination okay so it's really just putting in the values there uh 3.2 and 1 and just sort of simplifying accordingly Likewise, what we're going to do here is put in our values for the expected value of x. So the expected value of x is the uh, ex uh, exponential of uh, mu plus sigma squared over 2. So that's 3.2 plus 1 over 2. 1 squared is 1. Divide that by 2, we get 1 half. Okay, so that is the exponential of 3.7. Okay, now it's probably okay to write it in terms of exponentials or something like that because we have started evaluating these out it uh, they get quite large basically similarly what we're going to do is calculate the variance so the exponential of sigma squared minus one so that is the exponential of one which is us x e to the power of one which is just e in this case you don't often get e to the power of one just expressed as e but you know it's it, it works okay so that's the first part there, e to the minus 1. The second part there is this part here, the exponential of 2 mu plus sigma squared. That is 2 times 3.2 plus 1. Sigma squared is 1. 2 times 3 plus 2 plus 1. And that gives us 7.4. 6.4 plus 1, the exponential of 7.4. So again, we could really leave it like that. You could probably evaluate it out a little bit further, but you know it's not absolutely necessary. So, what we're going to do here is find out the probability of x greater than 8, which can be also written as 1 minus the prob probability of x less than or equal to 8, if we get the z score and use the phi function on that. So, the way to deal with these is actually look at the logarithms and work on the basis of the logarithms. So, the probability of x being greater than 8 is equal to the probability of log x being greater than the probability of log 8, okay? That's really the game plan there. Just work in terms of the probability because this here is essentially using a normal 
distribution calculation, which you should be familiar with at this stage. Okay, so uh, that's it there. That's the plan here. So we're working in terms of log of x is a normally distributed random variable. Okay, with mean, oops, mean of 3.2 and sigma squared equals 1 squared. Okay, 1 squared just to emphasize that that is sigma the standard deviation. So essentially this is a z-score calculation or a z-score. Okay, log of 8 minus 3.2 divided by 1. That should give us uh, minus 1.12. And this, where we get the phi function of that, okay, uh, where phi denotes the cumulative distribution function of the standard normal distribution. Essentially, this is working with statistical tables of, or something like that, okay. So that is 0 0.1314. Okay, now the question here is actually framed in terms of the probability of x greater than 8, which is the complement of what we have found here, which is the probability of x less than or equal to 8. Okay, so we just get the complement of that, and that is 0 0.8686. Okay, that's it.